Established in 1917, Tommaso Cleary has the honour and privilege of being the only Gaelic football club to bear his name. The club has a long and distinguished history and over the years has been at the cutting edge of success at all levels. Ten senior championship titles, three intermediate titles and countless trophies and victories at underage. Well, I'm passionate about the club. I'm passionate about the fact that we're now so well organised that our youth teams are winning championships, we're winning leagues and we simply have not the facility to develop all the people, all the children that we have on our books. And we have to go out to the, to, the, to the public to support us, to support Thomas Clark and to support our children. Over the decades, the club has produced names that resonate not only with Dungannon, but Tyrone, Ulster and Ireland and indeed further afield. From the early years, names like Billy McNanny, Jimmy Casey, Donna Begley, P.K. O'Neill and John McQuaid, our current chairman Dick Cahalan, and Daisy Slater, a referee who officiated at all levels. And of course, our two most famous players, the late great Iggy Jones and Jared Cavlin, are only all-Ireland senior medalist. The best days of my life were playing with the Ferdinand Gannon Clarks. Very lucky to win medals at underage level. Very proud to represent the club and playing for the county. But none of this would have happened without a team of coaches, such as Ty McGrath, Eamon Morgan, and all the coaches throughout the years. A very special club. And speaking of Tyrone, the club has produced many players who have excelled at all levels. Most recently, Patrick Quinn and Podrick McNulty. Dungannon Clarks is hailed in high regard by one and all. This was a great home venue for Toronto always too. It was a kind of a fortress. There was an atmosphere that you probably don't get in the bigger expansive grounds and a great place to play football. I always remember going to the matches there and thinking ahead and saying, well, it would be great someday to be playing in O'Neill Park. O'Neill Park has uh, a very special place in my heart. I've, I played my first county game um, for Tyrone in O'Neill Park back in 2002. Uh, we had a good day that day, um, it was a great day for me, you could smell the burgers as well and we won um, and every time we've been back there since I think we've won with the county so O'Neill uh, Park is a very special place for me. I'd love to see this ground in uh, O'Neill Park becoming a real sort of fortress for drone football again in the future and I think it can become that when the proper development takes place. To commemorate our centenary in 2017, the club is endeavouring to build a living monument to the memory of Thomas Clark. We're embarking on a multi-million pound development which will be a living legacy to Thomas Clark and ensure the future of the club well into the next century. The Gannon Clarks have a rich legacy to live up to. I hope the old ground is refurbished and it's done up well because in this year, everybody in this country should be paying tribute to men like Thomas Clark, who had a vision for the future. Later this year, we'll be producing a special limited edition centenary jersey. Why not join us? Sign up to our fundraising initiative, Clan the Cleary. You can pay £10 monthly. You can pay annually. You can give us a one-off payment. And of course, like all clubs, we're always looking for corporate sponsors. Join us. Help us build the dream. You can acknowledge the part that Thomas Clark paid in building our nation by sending us a donation, big or small, to help us build a living monument to him in his own hometown. Tomas O'Cleary, honouring the past, celebrating the present, building the future. <laughs>